Hello, everyone. Hello. Um, I'm Theresia Bilola. I am part of the Think Africa board in charge of outreach, mostly. Uh, but my passion is sustainability and climate issues. So permit me to bore you a little bit with uh, what we have on the last table to our right there, where Angie is sitting. Um, Africa. Africa loses about 5%, between 5 and 15% of its GDP because of the climate crisis. But it contributes only 3% to this climate crisis. It suffers relatively more but contributes very little and receives only about 5.5% of the financing for climate change. Um, I'm bringing this as a reflection because this year we have two big events on sustainability that are holding in Africa. The conference of the parties to the climate agreement just ended yesterday in Egypt. But my question is, what is in it, in it for Africa? Luckily, this year, they decided to start a loss and damage fund to pay for the damages that have been caused by climate change. As one of Africa's executives has said, this COP is Africa's COP. So let's put money on the table. Don't get scared. I'm not going to take any money from you. We are not putting any money on the table today, the leaders have done that with this loss and damage fund that they started. Today we are putting instruments, we are putting a comic workshop, and what else? Rosa is going to tell more about that, but that's what we are putting on the table there. We are going to put all of that on the table and we are going to reflect on how climate change affects the quality of the air we breathe. Most of the big cities in Africa have suffered from air pollution and its related health issues. And there are several deaths yearly because of that. So we, we want to raise awareness on that. And my partner in crime, I keep saying we. We means Think Africa and the Safer Climate Initiative. My partner in crime for that today is Rosa Rantanen. She will tell you more about what is the Safer Climate Initiative. Thank you, my partner in crime, Theresia. Um, so um, we are not doing anything criminal. We are very, <laughs> this is not going well. Uh, so my name is Rosa Randanen. I am representing the Initiative for Safer Climate Network. It's a new network. We call it Safer Climate to be shorter. Uh, I work at the University of Helsinki, but uh, we have several other universities and civil society associations related to this network. And the network, um, means to bring together civil society research, climate research, uh, and also creative um, fields and arts. And our goal is to create a safer climate for everyone to discuss climate in a safer space, let's say, and in a more inclusive way, but also to have real um, potential for new kind of climate action. And what uh, we want to do together with Think Africa is to also explore and increase the role of the African diaspora in Finland, but also in other countries in the climate discussion. And uh, because it's important that we have different people discussing climate issues, and Teresa already mentioned some facts about climate change and how much is affecting African countries, African people in African countries, um, yet uh, it's not really in pair with how much actually of the emissions or the uh, blame, so to speak, is to put to Africa. Um, today, as Theresia mentioned, we have there some um, general information about our network there in the last table. We have a kids' comic workshop in the afternoon at 2 and 3, but you can do the comics at any time. And you can also, I encourage also adults to come and draw and, and write your message. Uh, so it doesn't have to be just for kids. And you can also get to know us, uh, join us a member, it's free. Uh, you can get to events like this. And um, you can get to know some equipment that we use for research in the universities. Yes. I had here actually one quote that I will read and then I will shut up and not bore you too <laughs> much. Uh, but I have written this down a few months ago. Uh, it's from uh, Vanessa Nakata, Ugandan uh, climate change activist. And I think it just 
the kind of discussion that we've been having around this this great event is and Theresia and other volunteers have reminded me of this. So the quote is like this. We have continuously seen a erasure of communities that are affected the most from rooms of decision making, from platforms of discussion. We have seen black people being erased, being pushed aside from these conversations. We have seen indigenous communities pushed aside at these climate conversations. They are not at the front line, but they are, oh, sorry, they are at the front line, but they are not at the front page. So this is a bit related to what we are trying to discover, how to increase the role of African diaspora in this discussion. So I hope that we will have many lively discussions and you will join our new network and we will leave you to it. <laughs> Thank you. And there's one thing that Rosa forgot to mention. Participate in the comics. Put your message about climate change so that we can yes. use it also for this initiative. Whatever message you have about climate change how yes. it affects you, how it affects your community, yes. put it. I'm the there. best hive woman, yes. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, because when, we, uh, when you write down your message, write your comic, we will also publish it in our website and we can put your message forward and yes. And I also want to thank uh, all the volunteers and the whole Think Africa and all the co-organizers for this collaboration. It's been great and the week has been great, so congrats. Have a nice day.